Okay, so you have an issue with your numbered list, and the issue starts from number 10 onwards. You can see the problem. We've got more spacing in these three points than we have in the points above. Now I'm going to show you a number of ways of getting around this, but the first two ways will require you to see the ruler above your document. Now, if you can't see the ruler, go to the View tab on your ribbon and make sure this is ticked here, Ruler. That toggles the ruler on and off. Now, select all of the items. And what I want you to notice are these little controls here. You've got a first line indent, then you've got a hanging indent, and then the little rectangle beneath the hanging indent is the left indent. Now, if you move your first line indent to the left, it'll close the gap for 10, 11, and 12. I'll undo that. If you drag the hanging indent to the right, now make sure you're not dragging the left indent, just the hanging indent. If I drag that to the right, that also closes the gap. I'll undo it. So those are the first two methods. Now with either of those two methods, you are gonna end up with more space between the single digit numbers and the text than you have between the double digit numbers and the text. Now, if you want consistent spacing, you have to use a different method. But to use that method, you don't need to select all of the items. You just right click on one of them, and then you go to adjust list indents. And what you can do is change this option here, follow number with, and change it to a space. Click on OK. And now you have consistent spacing between your numbers and your text. One more solution you might find useful, and that's very simply just to decrease the size of the text within your list. So I have all the items selected. And if I decrease the font size, you can see that it closes the gap after the double digit numbers. Now these solutions will work equally well if your numbered points are paragraphs. You can see we have the same spacing issue here from point 10 onwards. So if I select all of the numbered points, go up to my ruler and I adjust the hanging indent by dragging it to the right, you see that closes the gap. Or I could right click into one of the paragraphs, I could go to adjust list indents and I could change follow number with to space. So hopefully one of those methods will be the one that will work for you. Thanks very much for listening. If you found this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.